Okay, so I've got my Gigabyte Bricks Pro here, and I thought I'd do a quick unboxing because no one seems to have done a video yet, which is odd. But um, this is the Gigabyte Mini PC that has the Iris Pro graphics. This one's the i5 version, so it's not as fast as the i7. However, it should be quick enough to play some games in 720p and be a good little mini desktop PC or a media PC. Let's have a look at what's in the box here. So this is the box itself, as you can see. It's in red. I think you can get it in black and yellow. But that's all they had available at the time was the red. Okay, so let's open the box up here. If the camera will focus. Focusing for some reason. Okay, so. Here we have the unit itself. We have inside the box here. A quick start guide. A bracket here to mount it on the back of your monitor or television with the uh, Visa Fix, I think it's called, on the back of the TV. Uh, driver's disc. And some screws here. That will be for your hard drive, 2.5 inch hard drive you can fit in there. A rubber seal. That's for the headphone socket. If you're not going to use it, you can seal it up. And let's have a look. What else is in here? We have... Okay. A power brick. It's quite large. Although it's thin. You can see it's quite thin and has the uh, Mickey Mouse type plug, three pin there. And here's the Brix Pro itself. It's quite heavy. For the size of it it's quite heavy but that'll be down to the copper heatsink that it's got in there. Lots of cooling. Okay. And uh, here it is. You can see it's quite small. Here's the power brick next to it, which is actually longer than the unit. And the bricks itself. Two USB 3 ports at the front. Vent here. Audio jack. Power buttons on the top. And on the back you've got your power, HDMI display port, network, and two USB 3 ports there. And lots of vents there. You can just see the fan inside there. There's nothing on that side, just a vent. And, uh, oh, there's also screws here that you need to undo. So you can open it up. I'll do that in another video. I will open the unit up and show you what's inside. And all you need to, to actually get the unit running is, is a hard drive, either a mini SATA drive or 2.5 inch SATA drive and some RAM. And the RAM has to be uh, 1.35 volts. It won't work with 1.5. So there you go. A quick unboxing. Thanks for watching.